Today we're going to germinate Ipomoea pescaprae seeds. Ipomoea pescaprae is also known as goat's foot, bay hops, beach mullingori and railroad wine. Ipomoea pescaprae is a pantropical wine that grows on sandy beaches. Its seeds are spread by the sea and they grow everywhere they land. But this seed is actually quite tough so I'm going to scarify it a little bit and we'll see if we can germinate some. To scarify seeds you generally should be a little careful because it's easy to take off too much of the seed and that will easily keep the seed from germinating and also expose it to pathogens and stuff. So. Seed sandpaper. Now I think I've exposed a little bit of the seed's inner core, so that should be enough. Now repeat the process for each of these seeds. When you're done scarifying your seeds, it's time to soak them. Now I find that sometimes too much water can actually damage the seed, causing it to swell up like popcorn and not germinate at all. So, instead of putting them in a glass of water, I'm going to put them in an airtight container and just mist them slightly. I have my airtight container here and I'm just going to put the seeds inside. Then I'm going to mist them slightly with water and let's hope that works. Okay, so I'm going to close this container and put it somewhere overnight. Just so the seeds can soak up some water but not too much. So it's day two, let's see what happened to the seeds. Let's open this. Oh! Remember when I said something about popcorn? This is actually what I meant. Okay, so as you can see the seeds have swollen up quite nicely. This is even a little too much but I hope the seeds are still viable. Time to sow the seeds. This is the container I'll be using. I'm filling the container with seedling soil mix. You don't have to have a thick layer of it, just this should this should be enough. I'm just placing the seeds lightly on the surface and then I'm going to sprinkle a light layer of soil mix on top Okay, that should be enough. Now let's water it a little bit. Okay, that looks good to me. Now let's cover this. I have some plastic wrap and I'm just going to cut a piece out of it and use that.
Okay, using a rubber band to close it. Then I'm going to just poke a few holes. All done. Now it's time to wait until the seeds germinate, if they do. Let's hope so. It's been two weeks. Let's see the results. As you can see, five out of five. Now for comparison, I also treated the batch with hot water. Let's see how it compares. And that looks like 2 out of 5. So comparing these two, it clearly seems to me that scarifying is the way to go. And that's how you germinate the Pomoya Pescapre seeds. Bye!